Hello beautiful beings. So often when we can sense that we are feeling off or we're having difficulty making a decision or knowing the right direction, when we're feeling dissatisfied, disconnected, it is because we are not allowing the intelligence of our heart and our soul to participate in our life enough. All energy centers, all aspects of our being are incredibly valuable, including the mind, the conscious and the subconscious mind. But oftentimes, those aspects of us get excessive and out of balance because of how society would have us believe we're supposed to navigate the world through checklists and uh, desire and want and more and more and figure out and people please and you know the drill. And when we go into the mind too much, we'll find that we're feeling a void on the inside, like it doesn't matter what we're doing, nothing really fills us or satiates us. We might feel our ego or animal body is entertained or temporarily satisfied, but that deep inner yearning where we feel We are at the right place and the right time and we are exactly on purpose. The bliss of that can only be touched on and felt and lived by connecting into our full intelligence, which is not only the mind, but the heart and the soul. So this meditation and this guided healing experience is intended for you to let go of the noise, let go of the reeling, let go of the voices that aren't even yours, and to drop deeply, deeply into your heart and your soul so this part of you, these parts of you, can chime in and give you the wisdom the information and the inspiration that you are looking for. So when you're ready, go ahead and take that big, deep breath and on the exhale, sink in to the space that you are either sitting or laying in. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and sink in. Let your body get heavier and heavier right where it's at. Deep inhale. Imagine that inhale is going to the top of your head. Slow, deep exhale. Feel yourself sinking even deeper. Let your body, let the weight of your body be felt. Throughout this meditation, I will do some ASMR whispers to help you relax more deeply. I want you to give your body the cue that it's safe to relax. Go ahead and quietly in your mind tell your body it's safe to relax now, now. And feel the way that your body responds.
You can feel the warmth and the sensation in your body as it receives your direct commands, as it receives your clear communication. Feel yourself very aware of your breath. And now I want you to see all that is crowding this space beneath your hands. Any judgments, any darkness, any stress, any outside voices, all that has been holding you back. From a life of heart-centered, soul-centered freedom. Witness it. And allow it to begin dissipating, dissipating, dissipating. Your gentle awareness is the power to transform and release energies that no longer serve you in the here and now. See the energy, even the people. See words, thoughts, beliefs, maybe shapes, colors, flying up and out of this space like debris blowing off in the wind. Let everything go until there is nothing left. Nothing left. Nothing left. Until you 
can begin to see who you are shining through these spaces beneath your palms. You are beginning to detect your own true self, your heart energy, your identity energy. Do not try to rationalize it or figure it out with the mind. Allow yourself. Allow yourself to breathe, breathe, breathe and feel whatever you feel here it may be sadness or joy it may be everything simply have the courage and the patience to feel what is here without rationalizing it. Just feel with absolute acceptance. You are the witness of these feelings. You are not the feelings themselves. So witness, 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 witness. Sometimes there is a discomfort here. A sense of not wanting to sit with this. Move past that gently. There is a gift to be had from this space. Move through it boldly. There is nothing you cannot feel and experience. Go deep, deep within your heart and your solar plexus, imagining traveling your awareness deep beyond your palms, deep, deep. And within these spaces lies a road map, lies the information to bring you clarity and connectedness. 
you have shut off your connection to these spaces by being caught up. Caught up in the world and distractions in your mind. But now, you have opened the door and you have full access. So ask these spaces at the same time what magnificent information they have for you. What do they want to tell you that they've been trying to tell you all along? And be open to whatever it is. It could be huge and momentous or tiny and minuscule. Whatever it is. You may feel that there are two very different energies here in the solar plexus and heart. If this is the case, go into them one at a time. Asking them what they want to tell you. What they want, what they need, what they want to express, and what wisdom they have for you. One at a time. Perhaps that was effortless for you, and you got some great information. For those of you that feel challenged with the process, I want to share what came up for me, so you can get an understanding of how varied this information could come through. When I asked my heart, to communicate with me, it told me 
that I need to be the love that I am. To wait for no one to be that love. To not wait for the opportune time or moment or thing or circumstances, but to always find ways to be that love. And creating this guided heart-centered meditation is one of those ways. My solar plexus energy told me that I need to have good boundaries and be very aware of who I'm surrounding myself with and what frequency of experience I'm tolerating. So, some people are wonderful and fun, but they still carry a frequency that might not put me in the best space and might derail me a little bit. So they were just telling me to be mindful of that and then what I saw was these incredible flowers just bursting out of my solar plexus and to me the message I got from that was that I need to let the creativity, the creative light, the creativity flow. I need to write, I need to create meditations, I need to let this beauty blossom. I've always got these urges to create and sometimes hold myself back, so I just wanted to share that to to show the different ways the information sometimes comes through. And I'm sure you had your own experience, and if you felt a little blocked, do this meditation again tomorrow. It's a practice to create a relationship with the parts of yourself that you haven't had a relationship with. You have to build that. It's like there's certain friendships you might have that are really built and strong. And there are other ones that you need to build on and strengthen. And it's the same way with these different aspects of ourselves. And the more time we spend here, the more fluid the communication and understanding is. So don't be hard on yourself if it wasn't flawless. And be very proud of yourself for taking the time to do this inner work because it affects the collective in a positive way. Just dropping into your center for a moment is sensationally powerful. Good medicine for us all. I hope you enjoyed this meditation. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And in the comments below, if you'll share your experience, I know we all bond and and grow and learn from sharing our experiences. So I would love that. I would love to see your heart expressed in the comments below. And of course, any feedback you have is deeply appreciated as I grow this channel. When you are ready, or if you, you have already, that's fine. Open your eyes. You might take a note of how different you feel from when you started this 23 minutes ago and I think the best way to get the most out of this is to take just a few minutes to whip out a pen and paper and do some journaling on what you feel you notice and what you know now that you didn't know before thank you so much again for joining me in this meditation and I will see you next time.